Hi there. I've been tasked with creating a user account for a new manager in my organization. They won't be working in Jamf Pro, but have requested access in order to familiarize themselves with our IT deployment. Using Jamf Pro's user account settings, we can create and configure a read-only user account for this manager, allowing them to explore Jamf Pro freely without the potential for any accidental changes. Let's walk through the process of creating a new user account in Jamf Pro. Starting from the dashboard, navigate to Settings, User Accounts and Groups. Click New in the top right to create a new account. We're now asked what type of account or group we'd like to create. If you've integrated Jamf Pro with a directory service, we could select either of the directory service options to bring over users or groups from LDAP. If you're interested in integrating with a directory service, see the Jamf Pro documentation for more information. For this example, I'm leaving Create Standard Account selected and clicking Next. Here, we are able to enter the information for our new user account and customize several options. Start by entering the desired username for this account in the field at the top. Next, we have a few customization options for access level and privilege set. These allow us to control what parts of Jamf Pro are accessible to the account and what actions this account can perform in those areas. Full access, fittingly, provides unrestricted access to all areas of Jamf Pro. Site access will limit this account to specific sites within Jamf Pro if you've created sites, and group access will have this account inherit its access privileges from a Jamf Pro group. This video won't cover groups or sites, so I'm leaving this set to full access. Next, we can select what privilege set to give this account. The preset options are administrator, auditor, enrollment only, and custom. If we select administrator and then check the privileges tab at the top, we can see that this option provides create, read, update, and delete privileges for every server object, setting, and action in Jamf Pro. Return to the account tab and change the privilege set to auditor. If we check the privileges tab once more, we can see that this is updated to only allow read access for everything in Jamf Pro. The Enrollment Only Privilege Set provides an account with just enough permissions to enroll a new computer or mobile device in Jamf Pro. The final option, Custom, unlocks the Privileges tab and allows us to pick and choose exactly what privileges we want to provide for this account. Auditor is perfect for this account's use case, so I'm leaving that option selected and moving on to Access Status. Here, we can disable a user account temporarily or re-enable a user account that might have been locked out due to multiple incorrect passwords. As this is a new account, I'm leaving this set to enabled. Next, we can provide contact information for this user in the full name and email address fields. If you've integrated Jamf Pro with an SMTP server, providing an email address here will allow the user to reset their password via email if they happen to forget it. Check out the Jamf Pro documentation for more information on that integration. Finally, I'm setting a temporary password for this account and selecting the checkbox to force user to change password at next login. Click Save in the bottom right to create the account. After I've sent the login information over to the new manager in my organization, they can navigate to our Jamf Pro instance and log in with the new account. They are prompted to create a secure password of their own and can then log in to Jamf Pro. Since we gave this account the Auditor Privilege Set, if we view an area of Jamf Pro like Configuration Profiles, note that we do not have the New button to create a new profile. Additionally, if we select a profile to view it, we cannot unlock the profile and edit its contents. The button is missing from the lower right. Configuring the Jamf Pro user account in this way provides just enough access that this user needs for their role. Thanks for watching.